Okay, here we're gonna look at something I call a type one integration by parts problem. So the general setup is we have a polynomial times a transcendental function, usually some exponential or some nice trig function like sine of x or cosine of x. So let's look at a particular example of this, maybe x times sine of 3x dx. Great. And we want to use the general rule that you always want to choose u so that its derivative is simpler. So when we set up our integration by parts, we'll let x be u, and then we'll let sine of 3x dx be dv. So let's see what that does to our integral. So if u equals x, that means du is just dx. And then if dv equals sine of 3x dx, that means v is, so we have to be a bit careful, the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, but we're going to have to divide by 3 to make up for the fact that we have a 3 inside sine of x, so we have minus 1 third cosine of 3x. So there we go. Now we're all set. Now if we remember back to our general integration by parts formula, we have the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So we're going to apply that to the setup that we've made over here. So that means the integral of x sine 3x will be, so our u times v, so that'll be minus x over 3 cosine 3x minus the integral of v times du, but now notice v has a minus sign built in, so we can change that to a plus, and then v du, we can bring the third out, and that gives us cosine 3x dx. And now it's pretty nice because we know the antiderivative of cosine 3x, and so we're one step from the end. We have minus x over 3 cosine 3x plus we get another 3 from the in the denominator from taking the antiderivative of cosine 3x so that'll give us 1 ninth and then the antiderivative of cosine is sine so we get sine 3x and then plus our constant of integration and that's the final answer.